Well, welcome back. I'm looking at this 2005 Chevy Suburban again, and I just replaced both the tensioners and the idler pulley on it. Uh, they were all bad, squeaking pretty badly, and as I showed in the video, uh, the one tensioner could actually move the pulley. The, the bearing was so worn out in the, in the pulley. But what I noticed is after replacing all three of those um, pulleys and, uh, and tensioners, that I still had some belt noise, and the belt, I looked at the belt that was on the car and the, the belt wasn't very old at all. But I just want to do a little follow up, that's not really a repair video, just to show uh, what I found and, uh, and to get your comments and your opinions if you've had any experience with the product that I'm, that I'm going to show. So what I did was I went on to PetBoys.com and ordered up this uh, Deco belt, it's called a Quiet W Design V2, I guess that's version 2. I picked it up in the store after I ordered it. And the part number for the Suburban is 5060930. So I have the original belt off of this, or the belt that was on it, I should say. Um, and as you can see, uh, it's still got the label and everything, uh, the part number. It, it's not very worn at all. It's not a very old belt. And I want to show you the inside of this and the V's in particular. And if you look at these V's, I'll turn this light a little bit, uh, what you'll see is... Um, there's, they're just V's basically, a standard serpentine belt and they, they don't really have any kind of coating or anything like that they're just, just a normal belt and it was it had some uh, pretty significant belt noise and one of the things, one of the reasons you can get belt noise on these is if you take this uh, belt off of a car and end up turning it around when you put it back on sometimes you'll get noise, I know that wasn't the case uh, for this belt because I tested it and I also took it off and put it back on the same way. Uh, so I figured I'm going to get another belt and try it and I'll show you a little bit of difference in, in the way this belt is made uh, and one of the features of it. When I put this belt on, it was dead quiet. As soon as I changed the belt, there was no noise at all and I had a pretty significant noise from the other belt on here, which was not worn. It was not an old belt. I'm going to try to show you this belt and hopefully you can see this. I'll try to get you some light on it. Let's see if I can get a good shot. At it. So yeah, this belt's obviously on the car because I'm running it, but not just a V shape like the other belt. Uh, it's called a W. It, it's got a V shape to it, but if you look real close at the top of each V, there's a slit in it to make almost a W. And additionally, this belt has a covering kind of like really, really fine felt almost on it. And I'm guessing that that little slit I'm going to spread that apart so you can see it. In the middle of each V, and the, and the cover, the type of cover that they put on this, or how they treat that, is what makes them so quiet. So you can see the difference in those two belts and just the way they're constructed. Um, I, I, I'm really impressed with this belt. What I wanted to get and ask you to do is if you have used this belt, this ser particular series of belt, uh, this Quiet W design, Please leave a comment and, and put your experience and, and how it's been for you. Um, I just don't do a lot of product endorsements. It's not like I'm getting paid by Deco or anything to, to do this. Uh, but I'm just really impressed with this belt so far. I really would like to hear uh, if you have used this belt, how it's worked out for you. So maybe this video will help you out and uh, next time you have to buy a belt, uh, maybe you'll get one of these. My experience with it has been very good. Um, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for watching.